So when your partner is forcing you to have sex or is denying you of sex, that is called sexual abuse. Hello and welcome to another edition of Simply a Woman with Patience, God's Will. If you're seeing this face for the first time, thank you for stopping by. I'm really, really happy to be having you around. Please, if you're a woman, I'd like you to sub subscribe to this channel because on this channel we talk about so many issues that borders on the woman. We talk about the, the things that women go through, the day-to-day, -day, you know, issues that women face every day. And on today's edition, we like to talk about the most, a most important topic, topic that cannot be overflowed, topic that needs to be talked about, abuse in a marriage. So many women are in abusive marriages but they cannot walk away. They cannot take any action because, you know, it's difficult for a woman to just walk away from her marriage. It's easier for a man to walk away. A man can just pack his bag and baggages and walk away when he finds uh, the atmosphere unconducive. But women are emotional beings. Women always find it difficult to walk away from their marriages especially when children are involved. When children are involved, a woman finds it difficult to just go and leave her children. So today we want to talk about types of abuse in a marriage. Again, I want to say that most times people reduce abuse to just physical abuse. That's the most common type of abuse that people know and they actually identify as abuse. You'll find a woman who is in uh you know a, another kind of uh, abusive marriage maybe let's say emotional abuse financial abuse or another kind of abuse but because it's not a physical abuse where the man beats her or where the man you know inflicts physical pain on her she doesn't see it as abuse but today we are going to analyze the types of abuse that we could find in the marital institution or in the marital space please stay tuned as we look into these forms of abuse. The first kind of abuse I want to talk about is physical abuse. Physical abuse is a kind of abuse where your partner kicks you, punches you, you know, choke you, or is inflicting any kind of physical violence. That kind is called physical abuse. Psychological or emotional abuse is a kind of abuse that is meant to manipulate, control, and reduce you to nothing, probably sometimes through use of words. Mm -hmm. When your partner is constantly using words that degrade you, is using words or actions, you know, that reduces you to nothing, most times that kind of abuse, you know, affects your self-esteem. It makes you feel less of a human, makes you feel less of yourself. That kind of abuse is called emotional or psychological abuse. The third kind of abuse I like to talk about is sexual abuse. Sexual abuse is any type of sexual behavior that either forces you against your wish to have sex or denies you of sex. So when your partner is forcing you to have sex or is denying you of sex, that is called sexual abuse. The fourth kind of abuse is called financial abuse. This kind of abuse includes limiting or controlling your access to money when your husband is limiting your access to money or is controlling your access to money it it, 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 it it determines how much you should have within your reach it determines how much you should have to spend he determines you know how much you should have in your bank account or he determines whether you should open a bank you should own a bank account as a woman or not that kind of behavior is called financial abuse the fifth kind of abuse is called spiritual abuse spiritual abuse is a kind of abuse where your partner uses uh, uses uh, 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 his his or her religious belief hmm? or, re or uses spirituality to control you the bible says women should submit the bible say women should do that the bible say women are the tail and not the head when a man constantly uses the bible or quran or his belief his spiritual belief to you know uh bring you under submission or to make you be behave in certain ways that kind of behavior is called 
spiritual abuse. The sixth kind of abuse is called digital abuse. It's a kind of abuse where your partner uses technology to harass, monitor, or control you. It's a kind, the commonest one we see is when your partner will say, don't do WhatsApp, don't do Facebook, don't do Instagram, don't do this. When your partner limits you on your access to social media, when your partner will say, oh, you can have phone, but don't do social media, or when your partner determines what you should put on social media, or when your partner determines, you know, when you should have access to, to phone, basically that kind of abuse is called digital abuse because your partner is constantly on your matter on what you should or should not do as far as the digital world is concerned or as far as technology is concerned that kind of abuse is called digital abuse so i hope you've been enlightened on the various kinds of abuse that we have and then these are the commonest one this six i brought to you today are the most common types of abuse we have other kinds of abuse so now you look into your life look into your marriage and see what kind of abuse am i going through because so many women are actually going through one form of, of abuse or the other but they haven't identified that this is a form of abuse so long as it's not a physical abuse it's not an abuse i hope you've been enlightened i hope you, you you've been clarified on the kinds of abuse that we have and like i said if you're going through any form of abuse please go seek for help go seek for help don't sit down there and my emphasis is on Women abuse today because um, men hardly go through the kind of abuse that women go through. And when a man is going through any form of abuse, it's easier for him to just take his bag and baggages and walk away. But a woman hardly walks away from her relationship because when a woman comes into a relationship, she she's, she brings her emotion into her relationship. And especially when children are involved in that relationship, it's difficult for a woman to just pack her things and just walk away. So you can still be in that relationship, but please seek help and try to converse with your partner. Try to talk, communicate, tell him where you where you are uh, not feeling good. Tell him what is bothering you. Tell him what he's not doing right. Some of these people that abuse uh, their partners in relationship sometimes it's because of where they're coming from. So when you sit down, talk that person let the person know that he's abusing you or is inflicting pain on you either physically emotionally spiritually financially digitally and in any area that you feel that person is abusing you talk with that person and everything is going to be fine it's simply a woman with patience god's will once more please subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed like my videos share this video and i will see you again